hairdresser Kitty Sweeney here. Today we're going to draw a thing from Wednesday, so let's get started. To draw this very cool disembodied right hand, let's first start by drawing a curve for the top. So I'm going to come right here and just draw a shallow curve. So this is basically going to be the width of the wrist area. Then from there I'm just going to round it off round it off and then we're going to come down so let's bring this part down a little bit come in and then right here i'm going to pop it out a little bit for the wrist bone i think that's what it's called and then we're going to come back in so just make sure you pop in this little part right here and then on this side it's just going to go down a slight angle so that's what you want to start with. And now that we have this in, let's go ahead and bring it down a little bit more. Get a little bit of the wrist area. Then from there, now that we have that and it's pretty level, I'm going to start to come out. So I'm going to start to flare it out for the hand. So let's come out and come out. There. Okay, so now let's just remember as we're drawing this, it's not, it's pretty complicated, right? Because we have to draw these fingers. But just remember as you come out, remember you have a palm area that you need to keep in mind and then you stick the fingers out. So if you're using a pencil, you can definitely just bring this out and draw this roundish part right here and put in the fingers if that helps. But because I'm using a Sharpie and I can't erase, I'm going to just go ahead, keep that in mind as I go. So I'm just going to keep going wider and wider. There, and then keeping in mind that I want a palm area right here. So that's where I'm going to start my fingers. So just keep bringing it down a little bit more. So let's say about right here. Okay, I'm going to start on the thumb. So let's bring this down. So keeping in mind, thumb right here. And I'm going to go out a little bit. I'm going to flare it out, round this part off for the thumb, and I'm going to bring it in. So about right here, I'll stop and round it off. So this finger here is kind of determining, determining for me the width of all the fingers. So I'm just going to start and bring this down again. These two fingers right here, this index finger and the middle finger will be the longest as we come down. So just going to go ahead and about right here. I'm going to start to round it off and come back up. Of course, we're totally simplifying it because it is very complicated to draw an actual real hand, but hopefully I'm helping you. So as I come up right here, I'm just keeping in mind, like I said, this palm area that's rounded off. So as I come down, you know, I'm going to end about right here. This is the widest part right here for these two fingers. So ending it at a curve right here. And then I'm going to bring this down now, start the other finger. So I'm just kind of giving it a little curve. And I'm going to end a little bit lower than this finger right here. And about right there, we're going to start to go up once again. So you definitely, um, if you can, use a pencil at home and play around. You might have to make these fingers longer or shorter and to adjust it. So once again, this was at a curve. So it's about right here. And this curve is gonna be a little bit narrower because we're starting to go up on this side. So about right here, I'm gonna bring it down. So notice the difference in this curve as opposed to these two. Then I'm gonna bring this down, give it a little curve. And this finger is gonna be a little bit shorter as we go up. So keep that in mind as well. And so about right here, I'm gonna go up, bring it up. So notice I'm just giving it a little curve and then bring it in. So once again, add a curve. So about right here, find this area and then go ahead and round it off once again and the pinky finger. I'm going to bring it down to about right here. So this is the smallest one and then up and bring it in. 
there. So now we can just go ahead and come down and about right here. We're going to come out to finish it. Yay, the hardest part is done, right? Okay, so now that we're done with our basic hand shape and uh, we can come in here with all the awesome details. So the first detail we wanna work on is obviously the fingernails, right? So I'm gonna come right here and I'm gonna curve and come in with a curve right here on this thumb. And then these, we're going to see all of it. So let's come about right here and just going to do that for all of them. And this one as well. And one more. There, so I have the fingernails in. And then um, let's draw in the uh, incisions, right? So we're going to start at the top right here and I'm going to just draw a line across right at the top and then in this area I'm going to go ahead and draw a bunch of lines coming down so if you like you want to be a stickler about it, you can actually pop these out because it's actually popped out at every incision right here every stitch if you like and then you can make this part a little bit thicker at the bottom there and then we're going to run another uh, incision say about right here down towards this part and then there's one right here one here and one that curves around this finger and then another one here Then let's just come back in and we're just going to draw a bunch of these sutures, sometimes shorter, longer, just to create the look. And we're going to go ahead and do the same thing here. There, and then same thing here. But notice as I go, I'm just following the curve with my lines. There. Okay, so then now that we have that, we need to draw in some wrinkles, right? So um, let's see here. Start with this one. So kind of like where the finger, it would just imagine this, it would be kind of bending about right here. So just tentative, just for some detail. And then another one, let's say about right here. Just for some detail and in here. These uh, wrinkles here makes it look a little bit more realistic and creepy. So I think we definitely need to put some in. So here and here. Uh, do we see any here? Don't really have much space so I'll just leave it for that part and um, that is pretty much it. I really hope I helped you and I didn't overcomplicate. Oh, actually, so, sorry, forgot one thing. One detail right here. Let's bring this up because I realize I need to put in this hand goes up. A little bit more detail. So this hand. Some lines and... Okay, there. Yeah, this just adds a little bit more detail to our hand to make it a little bit more realistic. But now I think that is pretty much it. Sorry. And I really hope I helped you draw a thing here from uh, Netflix Wednesday and that you love it just as much as the drawing I just did of um, Wednesday Adams. Thanks so much for watching. And if I helped you today, please make sure to give me a like and subscribe so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.